And finally tonight, a Monroe County shop owner is selling a different sort of election sign. She wants to make sure kindness is at the forefront and in front yards, no matter who wins at the polls. 10 News reporter Katie Inman explains how despite the struggles and division in 2020, that small business in Sweetwater is choosing to look on the bright side. In downtown Sweetwater, stars and stripes line the sidewalk on election day. But inside a bold boutique, Come in. there's colorful messages of encouragement. It's just a reminder. Let's have a culture of kindness no matter what goes on in the world. Leanne Campbell owns Feather and Flock Boho Boutique. Everything here has a positive spin. Even election signs, which are typically all about division. I felt like when I saw these signs that it was a good just reminder in a really pretty way to be kind to one another. Let's be respectful of one another. We're all going to have different opinions, and that's what makes our country beautiful. Kindness over candidates, and this land was made for you and me, are phrases that she hopes people will consider no matter the outcome of the polls. I just really wanted to share the story of these po of these signs and remind people that we live in a great country and let's celebrate that today no matter how crazy it gets. As a small business owner, she's had her fair share of struggle in 2020. We were closed for four months um, and in that time it was that whole, you know, scary, oh my gosh, are we going to make it? Not only did they make it, but they're in a space double the size of where they were before. In the midst of all this, crazy year. There are good things out there. We just have to keep finding them and, and kind of sharing our stories with each other. No matter which side wins on election night in Sweetwater, I'm Katie Inman. She is so right. If you would like to buy a sign, you can go to the storefront in downtown Sweetwater or find the shop on Instagram or Facebook.